cream comes rushing out the spout. Squirt, squirt. <laughs> and the cream looks neat when it's not on your feet. <laughs> and it's made by me, not Sarah Lee. Oh, I'm home, Mum. Oh, oh, Craig. Oh, you caught me singing to the pair. <laughs> I think I'm crazy. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Pav. Craig, if you'd made it and I stuck my finger in it, then the hand would be on the other foot, wouldn't it? <laughs> eh? What's finger licking for the chalky is good for the gander. <laughs> no, Mum, you mean goose. No, Craig, that's a pavlova, not a goose. <laughs> What's all this goose talk? Ah, uh, forget it, Mum. Uh... I suppose they go together, you know, goose, fingers. Oh, that James Bond film. Hey? Goose finger. <laughs> no, Mum, it wasn't goose finger. I know, I know. It was that girl in all the black leather. Um, uh, goosey galore. No, Mum, that was pussy galore. Oh, what a relief. The year I'm long put on that awful shirt that Auntie Mur Merle gave you for Christmas. Well, I'm wearing it. Oh, well, you'll have to put it on again, so don't change it. <laughs> Auntie Merle's coming over for dinner. What, tonight? Yes. It's a reconciliation dinner, so Auntie Merle and Uncle Uncle Bob will get back together again. Oh, don't tell me they split up again. Oh, it's serious this time, Craig. Do you know, Uncle Bob's walked out. Yeah, it was his turn, wasn't it? <laughs> Craig, I will not have you mocking them. Remember, family is thicker than water. Mm, thicker than brick too, Mum. Exactly. Anyway, I've invited Merle, but she doesn't know that Bob's coming. Oh, does Uncle Bob know that she's coming? Of course not. It's a surprise. Yeah, so was Pearl Harbour. <laughs> no, Auntie Pearl can't come. She's dead. That's why we buried her. <laughs> Move over, Auntie Pearl. Uncle Bobby's on his way. Oh, Craig, what a terrible thought. Auntie Merle loves Bob. She wouldn't hurt him for the world. So help me, Thelma. If I ever see that brute-drenched warthog again, I'll sink a mattock in his brain. Oh, no. Merle, it's you. Ten points, Thelma. Okay. <laughs> My God, what an awful shirt. <laughs> Where on earth did you get that? You bought it for me. How macabre. I must have been drunk. No, you were sober. <laughs> that accounts for it. <laughs> good on you, Merle. Have a good night. Uh, Mum, I've got to go out, so I'll have to miss the... Uh, Craig. The, the, pav, the pav going down. See you later. Bye-bye, dear. Bell, how do you do it? You look so, so blissfully suburban. Oh, thank you, Mill. <laughs> <laughs> and those shoes and that frock. I would have sworn they'd go together, too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you like them? Love them, Thelma. On you. It's just that I couldn't get away with it. I find that with my complexion, I must be sure that my clothes are always classically understated. Ah. <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right. Of course I'm right. Anyway, enough of your problems. What are we going to do about me? Bob won't come back. Oh, of course he will. He's always come back before. <laughs> Only because I've held the checkbook before. This time he cheated. He grabbed the checkbook before we started the argument. Oh, what about your bank card? He nearly got it, but I got him with a pot plant first. <laughs> You'll never get that. A woman must retain some dignity. Quite right, Merle. But Bob will be back. Of course, you know he has another woman. No. Yes. It seems Bob met her when she was posing nude for his spare parts calendar. <laughs> spare parts, indeed. <laughs> Merle, she was probably only flirting with Bob. Lying naked on a black satin waterbed with a spanner in your hand is not just flirting. <laughs> Why did Bob do that? <laughs> he didn't. She did. Then he did. Oh. And now he won't come back to me, Thelma. Oh. Perhaps if you bought a spanner? <laughs> well, really. Well, after tonight, I'm sure you're going to feel a whole lot better. Why? Well, I've taken it upon myself to arrange oh, this. Oh, home, dear. Oh, oh, hello, dear. How was your day? Bloody shambles, of course. Someone should blow nuns up. <laughs> I said to this nun, I said, listen, nun, I get this train home every night, so this is my seat. <laughs> no use you looking at me like that, so get up and give it to me. <laughs> did you didn't? Do right, I did. What's she doing here? <laughs> Mills, come over for dinner. That'd be right. 
There goes me overtime money. <laughs> Hello, Ted. Yeah. Where's my paper? In the lounge room. Oh. Oh, Thelma. I do so envy you. You've got everything. A beautiful home and two lovely children. And Ted. Yes. Well, two out of three is not bad. Good <laughs> hey, everybody. Here comes the party. We're not at home. We go away. We move. We move. Hello, <laughs> world. Yes, it's me, Bobby Bullpit. Don't swoon. I'm human. Get away. Teddy, <laughs> go away. But, Teddy boy, you're my brother. You love me. Oh, I don't. I hate you. Hate, hate, nausea. <laughs> Teddy, this is no time for sentiment. I want you to meet someone very special. Someone who really does love me. She must be special. Where'd she escape from? <laughs> Come in, cuddle toots. This is Mandy. My brother, Ted. Good day. You're not a nun, are you? <laughs> no. Why? Just checking. Bob's told me so much about you, I just didn't believe him. But now I do. <laughs> Teddy boy, from brother to brother, I want you to know that I really do appreciate this. What? Everything. And I want you to have this. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Now, off you go. <laughs> He's a riot, isn't he? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? <laughs> Don't you just love him? <laughs> What's wrong with being a nun? Nothing, so long as you don't bring your work home. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't you going to open it? It's my new spare parts calendar. What do you reckon, Ted? Pickle me grandmother, what a raver. <laughs> Who's this little dunny door? <laughs> it's me. Oh, Struth, is it? Oh, I wasn't looking at your face. I mean, uh, I wasn't looking at these. Uh, it's just I didn't recognise you without your, uh, uh, without your spanner. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with nude art studies, you know. Oh, I, I know that. It's just that you wouldn't catch me doing it. <laughs> Wouldn't catch me looking at them either. I should think not. Not even Fell's seen the... Uh, good spanners, are they, Bob? <laughs> Where is Thelma, anyway? Oh, she's out in the kitchen having a chat to the... Oh, my God. I, I wouldn't go out there... Thelma, I've got a surprise oh. for you. No. i got Mandy with me. Thelma, my little temptress of... Merle! Bobby! Ah! Ah! Come on, Merle. Put down your security bottle and have a cuppa. <laughs> Look on the bright side. I mean, you do miss him, don't you? Yes, I suppose you're right. It's the little things, isn't it? Like getting up in the morning and finding his toenail clippings in the ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno always leaves a little bit of butter inside the Vegemite jar. You've got him onto Vegemite. Oh, he's becoming so naturalised. <laughs> No. Bob's heart is in the right place. You remember that little pet fish he gave you at Christmas? It was a piranha. <laughs> and it ate my cat. <laughs> I had to use tongs to get the flea collar out of the bowl. <laughs> no, honey, Merle, there's only one thing to do. Fight fire with fire. Oh, not fire, Grit. Oh, that aftershave Bob wears, he go up like a torch. <laughs> what do you mean, Grit? Make him jealous. Have an affair. <laughs> Tried that. Oh, and? It was wonderful. Did it work? Did it what? <laughs> I mean, did it work on Bob? Sort of. Bob came home and sprung us in the bedroom. Oh, no! What did he do? Sold him a new Datsun. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. Everyone is a sales prospect to Bob. What you want to do is have an affair with someone who'd never buy a Datsun and, and then Bob would have very good cause to hate him and get jealous. Well, as you know, Thelma, I would have any amount of affairs to keep my marriage together. Oh. Well, I don't know. The only person I could think of who'd never, ever buy a Datsun is... <laughs> Thelma, you're a genius. No, Annie Mill, not Dad. Why not? Oh, because he hasn't had an affair with me for years. <laughs> Listen, Thelma. The one person who really gets under Bob's skin is Ted. It'll never work. Now, Grinch, I think she's right. If Bob saw Ted and Merle together, I 
was going to be just the ticket. Oh, but Ted would never agree. Who's going to ask him? <laughs> you and Greet are going shopping tonight, so just leave it to Big Mama. <laughs> Teddy? Yeah. <laughs> hey, are you mad woman? I'm trying to read Mandrake. Turn it on. <laughs> Why don't you try and turn me on instead? <laughs> Why have you got a chook around your neck? <laughs> it's not a chook. Well, your pillow's exploded then. <laughs> Hello, talk already, Teddy. You are a fast mover. Already you're talking of heads on pillows. Your head'll be under a pillow in a minute if you don't give me my paper. Stop doing that or I'll sneeze all over you. You really know how to arouse a woman, Ted. Give me my paper. Where's Thelma? What's going on? Teddy, darling. Darling? It's late night shopping tonight. Greet and Thel have gone to Myers. Craig won't be home till midnight. You and I are alone together in the house. Do you know what that means? It means one of us has got to go and put the garbage out. <laughs> Don't you find me attractive? Doesn't this naughty nighty do anything for you? No, it wouldn't fit me. <laughs> Not you, me. As a matter of fact, if you'd looked around when you were out the back, feeding the greyhounds, you'd have seen me undressing in the window. So that's why the dogs were howling. <laughs> Ted, can't you see that I'm madly in love with you? You don't look like it. Well, I bloody am. <laughs> now, what more do you want from me? I want me paper. <laughs> Come and get it. Oh, 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 Alex, oh, Teddy, hey. it's party time. Geronimo! Oh, help, Thelma! I'm being raped! Bloody woman. You can't trust them, mate. They're all sex fiends. They've all been that way ever since the Yanks came out here during the war. <laughs> what are you talking about? Listen, Wog, I want you to swear on the Pope's singlet that you'll never repeat what I'm about to tell you. What? Swear it. Oh, all right. I swear on the Pope's singlet. And socks. And socks. And jockets. Oh, listen to them. <laughs> I've turned into a love god. You? A love god? Yeah, me. Women are tearing off their clothes and chucking themselves at me. What sort of women? Human women? <laughs> yeah, real ones. <laughs> Trying to get rudy doos out of me on the couch. <laughs> Just tonight I was the victim of a savage rape attack. She tried to get me to do something I'd forgotten years ago. <laughs> None of your business. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's true. Oh, face it, Tettles. You've got as much sex appeal as an old dunny brush. <laughs> You're just jealous. Me? Jealous of you? That's like being jealous of Noddy. <laughs> Listen, you eyes think all the women go berserk over you because of your jabbering dimples and tight pants and daggers in your socks. <laughs> and underneath this bronzed Aussie exterior is a raging volcano. I know, I've heard it go off. <laughs> This is crazy. Look, if I see any good-looking woman throw... I'll change that. Any woman at all throw herself at you, I'll go and stand naked in Maya's window. Ted? Oh. Mandy, what are you doing here? Look, I know I shouldn't have come to your home, but I just had to see you again. What for? Ted, I'm not a home wrecker, And I didn't mean to do this to your family. I just want to say that, much as it hurts me, the affair's over. Thanks for being so understanding. Bye. <laughs> no, I don't believe it. <laughs> All right, Wog, let's go. Where are we going? We're off to Myers' window. <laughs> Candles on the table. It's a fire hazard. 
Someone should blow those candles out. If the woman's weekly says the candles on the table mean it's a very good restaurant. Bull means you can't see the crawlies in the salad. <laughs> the only crawlies you'd find here would be snails, and they're a very expensive delicacy. Well, not spending my overtime money on dead snails. Especially when I spent the afternoon throwing live ones over next door's fence. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, we've got a reservation. My name's Bullpit. Uh, so's mine. We're married, you know. Otherwise, <laughs> I'd still be Thelma Cooley. Thelma is my Christian name because I turned out to be a girl. Thelma! <laughs> uh, yes, uh, this way, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, isn't this pleasant? Oh. On your table. <laughs> Just get in, woman. <laughs> right, uh, I'll have a beer. Uh, what do you have, Phil? Oh, I don't know. Uh, nothing for the wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? What's you waiting for, Phil? Tip. Oh, look both ways before you cross the road. <laughs> night but things are a bit tense if Merle's and my plan works out right they'll be back together again before you can say Mickey Rooney Mickey Rooney what's Mickey Rooney got to do with all this marriage glomp he's been married seven times no wonder he shrunk Hi, <laughs> <laughs> hoody everybody here comes the party oh, hello Bob where's Merle park in the car down the street <laughs> why aren't you driving Oh, Merle always drives. Besides, I wouldn't risk it. Something's gone funny with the brakes. Oh, dear. <laughs> now, are you and Merle getting on? Oh, now, listen, Thelma. Just because I pick Merle up on the way over here doesn't mean I'm crawling back to her. I mean, a man has got some pride, hasn't he, Teddy? Sure, how can a Datsun dealer have any pride? All you do is flog four-door Chico rolls. <laughs> Jeez, a man could die of thirst in this joint. Leave it to me. Wait up! Another beer over here, and what will you have, Phil? Um, Nothing for her. <laughs> and a schooner of vodka for my charming wife. <laughs> well, what are we going to eat, Ted? Oh, I'll have a couple of chops. Well, they don't have chops, Ted. It's not a Chinese joint, is it? No. Right, I'll have chops. Ted, at least have something a bit more exotic. All right, I'll have chutney with them. <laughs> What about you, Thelma? What do you want? Oh, I don't know. What do you think Merle'll have? Oh, don't worry about Merle. She'll chew on a tablecloth. <laughs> Especially if somebody spilled a drink on it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we go. Thank you, waiter. How are you fixed for wheels? I can put you in a little Datsun stanza from ten bucks down. <laughs> My car. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Ten points, Thelma. <laughs> Hello, Bob. Well, you'd be pleased to know that I was very nearly attacked by a group of young bodgies as I was walking all the way back from the car park. I don't know. Kids today, absolutely no taste. <laughs> Watch your tongue, Bob, or I'll wrap it round your throat. You now, now, Bob, Bob, please, be. this is a happy night. Happy night. <laughs> Isn't it, dear? Not really. My beer's hot. <laughs> Hello, Ted. How are you? All right, thanks. No, don't you worry about me. I'm very happy by myself over on this side of the table. <laughs> hey, watch it, Teddy boy. I think she fancies you. Hi, hi, hi. Bob, what on earth makes you think that? What on earth makes you think that I would prefer Ted to you? Just because he's a charming, intelligent man of the world. Man of the world? Him? His idea of a reckless night is shorty pyjamas. <laughs> and long socks. <laughs> Watch it, mate. Come on, Ted. Let's you and I dance. No. Oh, go on, Ted. It'll be fun. No, I don't want it. Oh, Ted. Oh, all right. Come on, Lou. Watch it. You keep your hands to yourself when we're dancing. <laughs> Isn't Lou gorgeous, Bob? Hey. Merle? The one dancing with Ted? That Merle? Yes. She's a very 
very attractive woman. Don't you agree? No, oh, I suppose so. I mean, I did marry her, didn't I? And she's still very attractive to lots of men. Obviously, Ted thinks so. Hey? Oh, that's a bit in for a dig. Settle down, Merle. Knock it off, Teddy boy. She's my wife. She was your wife, Bob. Still is. I mean, it's a, a bit much. The own brother going the grope. <laughs> well, a man has got to keep his pride. I do. But what are you going to do about it? Oh, no, it's ridiculous. Not Ted. Right. That's it. That's it. Oh, Why does it always have to be me? I'm so... I couldn't tell you before, otherwise our plan might have been ruined. She threw herself at me, Phil. I know it. I didn't know what to do with her. I can believe that, dear. <laughs> anyway, at least they're back together again, and we're as happy as we ever have been, or could be. And it just goes to prove that you are still the most exciting man in Goanna Heights. <laughs> Suppose you're right. <laughs> oh, and while you were away cleaning up, Bob, bless his heart, left you a little memento so that you'd never forget this evening. Oh, well, what is it? It's the bill. <laughs> Bloody Dutch and dealer! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>